YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, you find me in central London. I'm just heading over to uh, Riverton Hyde now for the Viberg MTO event, the made to order event, where I'm going to get to design my own pair of Viberg. Super excited about that. I'm gonna have a look at all of the leathers they've got, all the different kind of boots you can design, all the different options, stitching, all that kind of stuff, and try and show you guys all about that if, in case you ever get to design your own pair of Viberg boots. Now, I'm by no means a boot nerd, and when I say that, I mean, I don't have many pairs of boots. I just want a pair of boots that I feel comfortable in, I can wear to death, get resold, and just not have to worry about, kind of like my chucker boots. Uh, so I'm hoping I can get that with Viberg and they'll last me forever and ever. So that's that's the, really the uh, the idea behind this, just get the perfect pair of boots that I can just use as my daily wearers. Look, and I know you guys are probably telling me to try different boot makers, different kind of brands, and. I will one day, I'm kind of stuck in my ways. When something kind of works, I mean, I, I get stuck on something, I stick to it. So that's the plan. I'm gonna stick with the Vibergs for now. Super excited, let's go. Now, do I need another pair of boots? No, uh, but when I get the opportunity to make a pair of Vibergs that are exactly what I want, then I really couldn't pass this up. Side note, how good is uh, back streets of old London? Cobble streets, this is very Harry Potter-esque. But anyway, heading over there now, what am I gonna do with my old Vibergs? I don't know, I'm gonna hold on to them for a bit. Might sell them, who knows, but I'm really excited to get a pair of boots that are made for me, that I can wear all year round, that are just crazy. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride, down little passageways through London to get to River and Hyde. If you've never been to River and Hyde, by the way, you need to pay them a visit. They're in Manchester as well, or in London. They're such a great shop, the guys are incredible. They're so good to talk to if you need any advice or anything like that. So highly recommend visiting River and Hyde if you haven't already. But yeah, central London on a Sunday is pretty dead as well. Yeah. some food as well they have a banging Thai restaurant next door highly recommend right so I'm here so let's go in flesh if you're into that. Um, the, the chamois from Horween is like pretty legendary. Um, there's not really a color that's similar to H bark but. So these are all the leathers that we had available to us. This is a Parisian brown one that I ended up going for. Um, as I said, you can have them on either side. So I had the smooth tongue. So the tongue is gonna be the flip side of this for the tongue, which is really cool. And uh, it was just interesting to put all the different kinds of leathers together and see what worked with that, that boot makeup. It's really difficult to decide without seeing it on a boot. And then after that, we looked at, you know, there's there's all the different brands. These are all the hallway ones. And then you had all the hardware, which was um, a lot. But I knew I was going the, the antique brass. And finally, the soles uh, that you can choose from. I knew I was going mini ripple. So really didn't have to think too hard about the the sole there. I knew I was going cream mini ripple as well. They're going to wear through pretty quickly. They've got not much grip and they're going to wear through. So I'll be able to resold something else. Later. This is the Janus Calf Sway. This is what it's going to look like uh, with a mini ripple sole. I think it looks amazing. Uh, and that mini ripple sole in cream is just going to be so, so good. Uh, unlined service boot in Parisian brown Janus Calf Suede. Unlined. It has a just the vamp lining, so just the front of the boot. Smooth tongue, no toe cap matching thread so it'll like when the, the upper is sewn together it'll just be like a thread that matches this uh, antique brass eyelets 7a 7 AA, sorry 1035 last leather toe structure natural sole stitch for the stitch down natural midsole varnish and with the cream mini ripple right so how was that that was actually really good it was very casual very chilled i was literally just sitting in the store with um with the guys from viberg um, just sitting in a chair, going through all the leathers, going through all the options and writing it down, showing them photos of what um, I liked. 
uh, and then gonna do some follow-up, send them some photos uh, of the ones I like as well. Um, and then after that, uh, I just had a chat with the guys from Riverton High for a good half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, really, really cool to talk about um, boots and uh, heritage denim. Uh, so if you're ever in town, definitely go and see them, but I'm really excited to see what the boots come out like. Give us a couple weeks, they're gonna send me an update uh, on pricing as well. So obviously I'm not getting these for free, don't forget, I'm paying for these. Uh, I'll find out in a few weeks time and I'll let you guys know. Just gonna head home now. When I get home, I'll do a bit of a debrief and tell you what I've got. Right, so it's been a few days. Actually, it's been a, uh, a full week, actually. Uh, Viberg were gonna get back to me during the week, but they haven't um, to give me the full rundown, what I ordered, uh, the next steps, and obviously the price. Uh, they haven't got back to me yet, so I, I haven't got all of that with me in terms of the price. I do know what I got, though, but I'll go into that uh, with you in a second. I just wanted to sort of track back a bit. I think in the video I say at the beginning, going to the event, let's go to the event, looking forward to the event. I don't know why in my head I had the idea that it was gonna be a full on event. There was gonna be, uh, you know, people, loads of people there, tables with all the stuff on there, uh, examples, etc. Uh, because I've seen it at some other uh, major order events where they had a lot of different kinds of setup. But it wasn't like that. It was more a bespoke service, like a one-to-one -one sit down with Viberg, which was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Uh, so you could really just talk about exactly what you wanted. So it was more sit down at the table, uh, talk to Rylan, the guy was Rylan, awesome guy, uh, talking about exactly what I wanted. He was giving me um, kind of feedback on what works and what things I didn't really think about, which was really cool because I was going in just wanting the um, aged bark rough out, like the withered fig version, like the 316 version and I came out with something totally different we'll go into that in a minute so I think it was really cool that it was one-to-one -one service like that it was very chilled I could have stayed back and um, sat down with him again I could have ordered as many different versions as I want uh, they asked me if I wanted to do another one another one um, but you know obviously the budget doesn't stretch that far interesting thing though for you know taking into account there is a, a premium that is paid on these kind of things it's not just a normal service boot or Viberg boot cost there is a uh, 25% um, added onto that. So for the privilege of creating your very own bespoke one of a kind pair of boots, it is even more expensive. Like Fiber boots are expensive, but now it's 25% more expensive. So I haven't even got the price yet. So let's wait and see what that's coming out as. So let's go into exactly what I got. I got a service boot, as I said I was going to do. I got the 1035 last, so the same last as my uh, other service boot, the Tobacco Chamois Rough Out, but I didn't go a rough out in this instance. I went a Janus Calf Suede in the Parisian Brown. Now you see it here, this is a boot that, um, five, uh, this is a boot that Riveton Hyde have in the store, a different one, but this is the exact same material. I really like this, it's suede, but it does give off that kind of rough out vibe in terms of the looks. I think that color, that Parisian Brown is, pretty much in between the dark tobacco chamois rough out and also the um, aged bark rough out. It's kind of a, a middle brown. I think it'll look really good on a boot. It'll go good with jeans. It'll go good, good with pretty much everything that I wear. I think uh, it'll be good. But you know, I said I wanted to go casual and that is exactly what we've done. So we went for the mini ripple sole, the cream mini ripple sole, same as what the other guys do in terms of 316. Uh, really looking forward to that. I wanted to keep the boot really light casual i said to them when I, when I went in there i said look I'm, i don't work in boots i go on the train or on the tube and i go to the office and pretty much vice versa via the pub it's casual i don't need anything crazy so um yeah so it's a unlined service boot so trying to keep the weight down as well so unlined service boot janus calf suede Parisian brown um unlined um as i said it's got the uh, vamp lining though um, we've got a smooth tongue, so you have the option of the either side of the, the, the leather. So we went for the other side, which is just smooth. Um, no toe cap, so my other service boot has a toe cap on it across the, the, the front. This one has no toe cap. Matching thread throughout, so um, that brown kind of thread to match the Janus Calf suede throughout. Antique brass eyelets, 7AA, so it's the same eyelets as pretty much all the other ones. Um, 316 with a fig, the, the bigger one. Um, so that you can get another eyelet, which is a lot smaller. It's a lot more, I think, um, formal. Didn't want that one. 
uh, leather toe structure. So it's a natural sole stitch as well for the stitch down uh, and also a natural midsole varnish with the cream mini ripple. That bottom bit there is all pretty much the same as the 316 version. Just, it looks good, that stack really in my, in my book. So that's it, that is it. It's a cream mini ripple sole on Janus calf suede. Parisian Brown. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a great boot. Um, Ryland from Viberg said that that's a good makeup and not many people do something like that. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Maybe people go for the, the rougher stuff, the harder stuff, the commando soles. But I'm looking forward to this. Yes.